feel is their weakness. So a lot of times people feel that they don't have enough followers, they're not influential enough or good enough on Twitter. Um, I, I try to stay away from that. I've had really great success with TWIBES, T-W-I-B-E-S. It's Twitter Tribes. Um, and also Twello is a great thing. It's <laughs> called the T-W-E-L-L-O-W. It's a Twitter yellow pages. So you can follow people <laughs> in your area um, and then, you know, tweet to them and say, like, hey, you know, we just covered a story on X that you're involved in. Um, and, and also searching for particular hashtags. So, like, New York City has a hashtag. Gluten free has a hashtag. And I save those because you can save those searches. And then when you want to find a source or you want to jump into that conversation, you just jump into the conversation. You don't have to have it on your news feed all the time. Um, but I, I think in general, like, spam's going to be there. There's no way to fight it. You know, as soon as I see those emails, I delete them. Right. Just like, it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, really? Right, right. I block people like that. Or if you tweet at me and you keep trying to get me to say something that I don't want to say, I block you. I think you have to be very, like, you wouldn't talk to somebody who is rude to you in real life. So treat your Twitter followers like people you, know, you deal with in real life. Like, they could say, here, come on, you would get rid of them. So, but thank you. I think I might have went over my time with the door. Um,